Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we are going to be learning how to check, how to validate some of the data coming from the forms. We can't just take any data that the user sends us from this form here, right? We can't just take, what about they send us a command here that will, uh, I don't know, interfere with some of the functions in our website, right? Or application. So we, we, we got to check for things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Right now we have, what we are doing just echoing things out. So what I want, really want to do is, I'm just going to do a simple validation here, simple checking on the username. So I'm just going to say if the username, if the username, and to find out, we're going to use a function here, to find out the character numbers, because I want to find out if the user is, is very short. So I'm going to use a function called str length. And if I pass these parameters to this function here, this little function is going to let me know the amount of characters. So this function right here is going to be worth the amount of character that I type in here when I submit my form. If you don't understand that, don't worry, I will explain it a little bit more in detail by the time we finish. So if the username is less than five, for example, five characters, I want to echo something out. I want to say username has to be longer than, all right, and then we could say five right there. So let's test it. Let's see what, what happens if we submit this form like this. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and then I'm just going to say one, two, and three characters, submit it, and username has to be longer than five. You see that? Usually what you want to do is to style this and make it red or uh, make a borders around that when you display it. And of course you can do it, you can do the HTML right here and put the class on your CSS. And when the class, when this displays, they will display that color, okay? Or that or it will display those styles. So we can also do, what we can do is set a minimum here, minimum. Of five and then we can just take this off here and make it a variable that way we can have access to that in a more dynamic way right and we can say this we could do the same thing here and it does the same thing right we could do that and we can also set a maximum if we wanted to All right what I really really want to check is the maximum you can do it yourself right maximum and we can say 10 and if we change this for the maximum, or oh, we gotta say if the username is more, right? Well, in this case, it was less. We make it more than this. You know, we can say something else. Or what we could do is we can make another if statement. Actually, oops. Make another if statement right here, and we check for maximum instead of check for both right here username has to be long cannot cannot be longer than 10 characters I'm not gonna write characters but so if we make a username it's just right here I made a mistake somewhere probably forgot a semicolon or something uh, I thought I was gonna see the mistake right from here but I didn't see it. There we go. I saw it. All right. Okay. Right here. So let's make our username really long. Submit. Username cannot be longer than 10. And if I make it really short, one, two, and three, username has to be longer than five. You see that? How we can start testing things out? Once we have this into variables, they are a lot easier to manage. Okay. So let's check out something else too. Uh, let's say if, all right, let's do another if statement here and let's check to see if the username is included in, let's first, as a matter of fact, let's create an array. Let's make an array right here. Uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, let's say names and let's create an array here with some names. And let's create a name of, the first name of course is going to be Edwin, your instructor. 
your name here would be a student. Well, that's not your name, but that could be your name. Let's say Peter is your name. What about uh, Samid or something? I don't know. Uh, what about Mohad or Maria or Jane or Tom? All right. So, so we have this array here. It's pretty. It's gonna be pretty fun, right? So we have this array, and what we want to check to see if when we submit the username, that username is inside our array. Usually. It would be a database it would be you know we will have this in a database or something like that and then we would loop through the database and find out if that username is there and if it's that we will let the user log in to the application but in this case we got to make it like this since we're not making databases on this one here on this lecture so we're going to be using a, a, a function here that will check to see if the user is inside an array it's really easier to do. Let's just this function is going to call in array, array, and what we got to pass is two parameters. We got to pass it the username, all right, and we got to pass it the name of the array right here, all right. So right there. So if the username is in the array. Let's say if it's not, let's use the not, so that way you can get some some practice with that. If the user is not in array in this in in this array, right? We're gonna say, sorry, you cannot log in. Sorry, you you are not allowed. Let's do that. Sorry, you are not allowed. There we go. And else we could just say welcome or something like that. I don't know. Welcome. Welcome. All righty then. So we have a couple names here. So I'm just going to put some other names there. Let's just put uh, Marcelo. I got all these Spanish names. But anyway, let's type an address and submit. Sorry, you're not allowed. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, it didn't let us in. All right. What happened? Why well, it didn't let us in, right? <laughs> let's say, let's type in something, something like one, two, and three. What, usually it has to be longer than five. Sorry, you're not allowed. So we are triggering in a couple different validations there. You see that? We trigger in the, the one, two, and three one. Let's trigger in something else. Uh, submit. User cannot be longer than 10. That's the first one because it was too many. And then, sorry, you're not allowed either. <laughs> right? Well, it doesn't say either, but that's what it what it is. So now let's let's do something that's there inside the array. Edwin is there, right? And let's put a password here and submit. Welcome. We were able to log in. Look at that. Nice, right? And then we will catch the user's information with a cookie and do something else with it, right? We, we, we could do that or uh, we can catch the user's information with a session or something like that but we will probably talk about that more later all right right now concentrate on getting this done so practice this lecture here that I'm showing you right now because this is very interesting all right so if you didn't understand and go back and rewind it but in the last here in the last part here what we did was just we created an array right here with some names and then here we're checking to see if that value is the username is there in the array called name and if it's not there we're gonna say sorry you're not allowed if it's there we're gonna welcome the user and let it log in all right so anyway hopefully you were able to understand that how can we do a little simple validation and make sure that data is there how we can make sure that the data is uh, equal to the, the um, minimum values that we set it to or the maximum values all right so hopefully this gave you an idea on how we can do this and how things are done all right so i mean there are a lot more validations this is not the only validation the validations will probably take up two or three pages of this uh, file here it would take up many lines of code maybe a hundred lines of codes or more to do a really cool validation uh, function 
program right because validations are really important in PHP you need to make sure that the information that is being sent from here is sanitized meaning that it's clear it's not gonna mess up your programs anyways thank you so much for watching this video here and I'll see you in the next one take care